My name is Craig Gonzalez, and this is the Business English HQ blog series. In today's business topic, I want to talk about why 2012 was a good year for automakers. Enjoy! How good are you with numbers in English? Non-native speakers often have a serious trouble understanding and saying large numbers. In this report that appeared in the Globe and Mail on auto sales in Canada, I'm going to read through it and you need to listen to this recording without reading the text. Write down as many numbers as you can and then check how well you did. So after you watch this video, you can scroll down and read through it and actually double check and we'll have the answers at the end. Um, so please listen. Ford Motor Company of Canada said it held on to first place in the vehicle race in Canada last year with sales of 276,068. That's flat with 2011 sales of 275,976, but enough to keep the Oakville, Ontario based automaker ahead of Chrysler Canada. Chrysler Canada said its vehicle sales rose 6% last year, with the 1% rise in December marking its 37th straight year of year-over-year -year sales increases. Chrysler sold 243,845 vehicles in 2012 to grab second place in the Canadian market. That compared with 230,992 in 2011. Toyota Canada said its sales rebounded 18% in 2012 to 192,058 vehicles. With record-setting sales of trucks and hybrid vehicles and the best year for its Scion brand. Meanwhile, in the U.S., Chrysler Group LLC's sales jumped 21% last year, the carmaker's strongest performance since 2007. For December, Chrysler's sales rose 10% to 152,367 cars and trucks, led by the Jeep, Jan Cher Char Jeep Grand Cherokee SUV, Ram pickup, and Chrysler 300 luxury car. Chrysler, the first automaker to report sales on Thursday, said industry sales jumped to an annual rate of 8 15.8 million in December, making it the strongest month of the year. General Motors' full-year U.S. sales rose 3.7%, while Ford's U.S. sales advanced 5%. For December, GM sales rose 5%, while Ford was up 2%. Whoa, that's a lot of numbers. If you need to re-listen, please go back and re-listen. If you think you got it all, scroll down and see if you actually got it all. You know, I also want you to try to find the correct synonym for each word by using the context. We heard these words in this lecture, and if you scroll down, you can actually see these words in the transcript. Held on to, race, ahead, rose, grab, rebounded, brand, and advanced. I want you to see if you can figure out the synonym or a word that, a word or phrase that means the same thing for all of these. We also ask questions about, um, the word race and how it's used in many idiomatic expressions. Match the correct expression with the meaning. So we have things like the rat race, race against the clock, race through something, off to the races, a one horse race, run the good race, not in the race, and the arms race. We have all kinds of business topics that we want you to cover. And after every business topic, I ask you questions. Please check out the text below for answers to those quizzes, for answers to the number of numbers, and you can count through the transcript and see if you got all the numbers right. My name is Craig Gonzalez. We are forcing you to be good at business writing through using your ears, using your brain, using your brain, using your brain, using your brain. My name is Craig. I look forward to helping you. Please leave comments. Check the text below. You'll get another quiz. You can Twitter us at Smart English HQ, or you can join our mailing list and get these right in your mailbox so you don't even have to worry about coming back to our site every day. Thank you so much. 
Enjoy.